Amanda. And I'm Dean. And we're Scat About. Scatting About. And today we're doing a walk called Twin Creek Walk uh, near Linfield Oval. Um, and Dean's been complaining all morning because he really didn't want to do this walk. No, because I didn't realise it was a 12 kilometre work walk and you take into consideration we have to come back. So it's six kilometres each way and Amanda did not prepare me for that. I so did. when you wake up in the morning and you hear that it's 12 kilometres, not good. Yeah, and but I have convinced him it's okay because there's lunch in between. And a potential taxi at the end. Yes. Of the six kilometres. Although we won't be doing that. We will speak. Take two. We're actually at the start of the walk now. We we're at the wrong place before. Um, important tip: make sure you actually listen to the instructions when they say it's near a tennis court. Go and find the tennis court. Dean's concerned because he thinks that this guy's going to think we're stalking him because we've walked past him about 50 times and he well, has his shirt off. Not 50 times, and it's three times, and they're bouldering, as in doing rock climbing, and Amanda keeps on perving on the guy <laughs> with the shirt off. <laughs> To get to the start of the track, you can drive, catch a bus or a train. We drove as there is plenty of parking. If you want to catch a bus or train, check the info below for details. We found the hike in Sydney Morning Herald, Sydney's best harbour and coastal walks and followed the directions in that book. The walk is simple enough though. If at any point you get confused, look for these poles which have the two creek sign on them. The walk is 6 kilometres one way and takes about 2 hours at an easy walking pace. The Sydney Morning Herald rates the hike as medium but compared to other hikes we have done we rate this as easy. The path is mainly flat and dirt and there are some rocks and stairs and the path at times is wooden. There is good shade so it's not too exposed but bring your hat, sunscreen and plenty of water. When you see the Roseville Bridge, it's about one kilometre or about 20 minutes until the cafe and the end of the walk. Note the cafe is only open Wednesday to Sunday, 8am to 4pm and the kitchen closes between 11 and 12 and after 2.30pm. Coffees and cakes are still available at these times. Note that this may change on public holidays, so always check the website first. Yes, Amanda, the walk is very good. I'm glad you got me out and walking. Well done. It was very nice along the creek. Yay, just coming up to finishing the end of the walk now. Uh, managed to convince Dean to walk the six kilometres back, so we've done a nice 12 kilometres walk today. Yeah, she happened to convince me with a pie at the end, so she promised we'll go to get a pie from the bakery. Since it's my second day back in Australia, uh, I was easily convinced. Highly recommend the walk. Uh, flat for the most part by the river, really, really pleasant. Uh, not difficult at all, uh, but maybe just do it one way. And tip, if you um, want to have breakfast, make sure you get there before 11am. Very good. Bye. Bye.